Well, good evening and welcome. It's me again. And me again is Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. Tonight, we're talking about how you can discover your signature style and stamp, yours. It's all about you. It's not about fashion here tonight. We're talking about style, your signature style and stamp. We have covered a lot of territory and we will continue to cover a lot of territory, but everything is contingent upon your body shape. That's more important than anything. And you have to know that as we move forward. Now, what I want to do tonight, this is going to be a very tricky topic to convey and share with you because we're talking about prints, we're talking about different patterns, and we're talking about floral designs in your fashion, in your style. And it's different for everyone. What I want you to do is start thinking more about your body shape and what works best for you. Because you know, my friend, what's pretty new and trendy and even what you love might not love you. So if you want to have signature style, style that's yours, then you really need to know which patterns and which prints and which styles are going to fit you best for your particular body style, your body shape. And that being the case, what we're going to do is highlight for you the different body shapes and what's really good for those particular body shapes. So why are patterns and prints and florals so popular now? Well, my friend, they go in cycles. Everything does. They're very popular now. They will maybe blend into the next season, the next year, and then maybe they'll fade out. They never really fade out, but they won't be as popular. Something else will come in. That's what we call trendy type of fashionable trends. That's good and that's bad, contingent upon what you know about your fashion style and what's good for you. When we talk about the different patterns, the different floral designs from small to medium to large and abstract, you really have to know your body shape and what's going to work best for you. So first I'm going to go over and highlight for you some of the best tips for one particular body shape. And then we'll look at a few styles and I'm going to leave it for you to decipher which ones you think might work best for you. So if we're talking about the apple shape, you know that you put weight on around the middle section. That's a given. Even if you're very, very thin, that's what will happen ultimately. And even if you don't usually have a defined waistline, you really have issues around the middle. So you are best not to focus on busy prints and patterns. You don't want anything that's busy and too involved around that middle section that you have. You want to work around the top half of your body and you're better off to wear designs that are at the bottom half of your body. You're leaving the middle section alone and that will depend a lot on the prints. So you have to know that going forward. We'll give you some tips about the different shapes at the end of the broadcast, but now the pear body shape. Your widest part of the body, which you know is your lower half, which happens to be very popular now. <laughs> so you're going to be better off staying with patterns and designs that are on the upper half of your body. And you want to learn how to balance the bottom and the top half of your body. Balance, harmony, and design is essential and crucial to every aspect of signature style and stamp. You have a wide range of tops that you can have tons of fun with, and you can work to find the balance between the type of tops that you pick, the type of prints, the florals, and the designs. The rectangular body shape, well, I don't like the word best. It's the body that probably will be able to cover and wear more designs as far as patterns, florals, and designs from small to medium to large, more so than any other body shape, but that doesn't mean that it excels in that way because you don't have much of a big difference in your body measurements. Your bust, your waist, your hip, there's not a vast difference in the measurements there. And it doesn't matter the height or the size, but when you get into the, the importance of the fabrics and the patterns, your height and your size will have a lot to do with that. So one could say maybe you're luckier than some, but then that's going to be depending on a lot of other variables. And the hourglass body shape, well, we know what that is, right? It means that you're very, very small and very tiny through the middle so that your shoulders, your bust, and your hips are smaller in size than your, uh, than your waistline. So you want to accentuate your waist, which can be almost up to 10 inches smaller or less 
than the rest of your body shape. You can wear and have fun with prints and patterns that need, but you need to be mindful of fit and pay close attention to how you learn to adorn your body shape. The wrap dress was designed for you. It's one of the best features and the best styles that you're ever going to run into. One of the things that I want to put up here now is, by the way, the inverted triangular, you need to concentrate on the lower half of your body because you're very broad across the top. So that being the case, you want to be assured that you're putting the emphasis on the lower half of your body. The top half, you're already broad. So whatever print pattern or design you're going to put across there, you want to be very, very mindful of what that is going to be. It's very, very important that you know that. You know, fashion has to be fun and it has to also be comfortable. So a lot of what you like and a lot of what's trendy and fashionable, if it doesn't fit you and if you're not comfortable in it and you might wear it for the first time and then because it's trendy and new and then it doesn't fit anymore, then that's something that you're not going to wear. And in that we're talking about style, you want to be sure that you're getting the right patterns, the right prints, and the right floral designs for you. And they, they are never ending. Dresses are very, very popular now. Extremely so, more so than they've been in quite a while. And many of the dresses are in every pattern of floral design that you can imagine. And so what you want to do is make sure that you're getting one that's great for you. And by the way, my friends, if you've not signed up for your free complimentary Discover Your Signature Style and Stamp ebook, then please do. And one of the things that you can do is type in the comment section, style, S-T-Y-L-E, and your book will be delivered to you automatically. And that's good for you to know. One of the things that we also ask you to do is join our new Facebook group, Style with Joy. I love to say everything is in an embryo. It's in the makings. It's beginning because everything has a beginning. We came here as a little teeny seed and then we budded and mushroomed and here we are adults. But remember from the embryo up until the adult and then the happy ending years, that's how we go into any and everything that we do. So we want you to join this group because this group ultimately is going to be able to share with you lots of tips and tools that will benefit you on your journey. And I mentioned to you that you can type in the comments style and your book will be automatically delivered to you. And that's important to know. And get your free ebook because it's complimentary and you'll find lots of tips and tools there that will benefit you. We love it when you share, when you tag your friends and you invite them over. I see two people here now. Good to see you here. It's always good to see you here. We love it when you share. So don't forget to share because what we want to do ultimately, and you'll be getting this information soon, different, different designs for you to consider and look into that will be designed with you in mind that will be beneficial to you on your journey. Before we go any further, I just want to highlight for you, by the way, I started off by saying to you, patterns, fabrics, prints, florals, stripes, all types of designs, very personal, as everything is when it comes to style. So I could show you tons and tons of patterns and prints, prints and florals and designs and stripes. And yet, I want you to start just thinking about and knowing your body shape and what you feel is going to work best for you. I'm going to, let's see if I can do this. Hold on, I'm going to, boom. There we go. Now I want to do this and I want to show you. I'm going to start here and I'm going to put myself in the corner because I think it will work this way. Here's a dress. Well, dresses are back, right? This is just one of zillions, I love the word zillion, zillions of prints that you can use for any type and style of dress imaginable. I mentioned that the wrap dress was designed for the hourglass figure, but many other figures can wear it too. Maybe not in a print, but there are many other designs that you can wear as well. So just keep that in mind. Here's a long dress. This is an animal print. I'm a little partial to animal prints, love animal prints, not all, but when they're tastefully and well put together, they're fantastic. And most everyone, most, 
not all, most everyone can wear animal prints. By the way, I'm going to add on here a little bit something that I think you'll find interesting. Hello, guys. Good to see you here. Hello, Al. Oh, I see Alfred. Alfred, it's always good to see you here. I love it when we see men here. First men, the man who, male who arrives is always given a prize. Let me just say this. When it comes to sleeveless, not everyone can wear sleeveless. And it has something to do with age, but it also has to do with the shape and the tone and the size and all of that of your body and the shapewear that you're wearing underneath. Sleeveless generally, and this is a broad generalization, is geared for the extremely young. That's not to say that happy seniors like me and possibly you, if you're in the 30, 40, 50 range that you can't wear, but be mindful. Again, I'm showing you this because polka dots. Polka dots are back. Now, back in the day, they were more than huge. Now they're very, very popular. And what's shown with this, and the reason I'm showing you this is because chiffon and sheer fabrics are added to many different configurations of styles that you can wear and you can really have fun with it. This is an adorable dress. And it's not only for the young, depending on your style and what fashion category you fit into, you could wear this in numerous different fabrics and patterns and styles. Don't forget how popular dresses are. Here's another dress. This is an abstract print. Does this remind you of anyone back in the day, Pucci and so many other designers who did all of these abstract designs? I don't like to mention brand names initially going forward. I do this more when we do our one-on-one -on -one because it's something that will be important to you depending on your style and what you like. Now, here's a bold print and it's a wrap. And I mentioned to you earlier about chiffon. Might not be your style, might not be your type of print. And yet this is a type of garment, depending on the pattern, the stripe, the floral, the print that it's in, and the fabrication that it's in, it's great because it has numerous ways that you can wear it. You can throw it over anything that's sleeveless, or you can throw it over something and make it a little bit dressier or more casual. This type of wrap is more popular today than ever before. And the thinking on my end, and hopefully you're going to share this, is every woman needs one of these in some color or another. Now, why am I showing you this? because patterns and prints from the bold and the pant that you see there to the small ladylike little floral design to the right, slacks, pants, trousers, slacks, whatever terminology you want to use, they're everywhere. Everywhere you can imagine, they're there. And so you have to find the right one for you. A lot of people, this bold print here in the slacks, whether it's a straight leg, or a skinny leg, or a flare leg, or a palazzo. Many people cannot wear a stripe like that in a pant or floral design. And here, we're just showing you different types of dresses and the different types of florals and prints and designs. And I'm going to solo this so you can really see what this looks like. You have everything here. You have the floral print to the far left, the long dress, and then you have another print these might not be your prints, might not be your design, but that's okay. Giving you a range of all the possibilities. The one that's in the yellow and the navy and the black, or whatever it is, that's really kind of short, sleeveless and cute, depends on the person. The pants again, the dress and the abstract top, the black and white with the leggings or the tights. Many and numerous possibilities, many and numerous possibilities. You have never ending possibilities with prints, florals, stripes, and fabric designs. If you're wearing print designs and patterns for the first time, stay with something that works and that you are comfortable in. Don't get it and wear it just because it's trendy and it's popular. You have to, you not only have to love that pattern, that print, that design, you have to feel good in it. Because if you don't feel right in, it's not comfortable. You're not gonna be able to pull it off and it's not going to play for you the way that you want it to. Large prints are, no matter the design, can be very iffy. No matter what your body shape, your size, your height, your color, be very mindful of how you work with large 
when they're done right, like anything else, my friend, it's great. It's wonderful. But with not, it's not right for you. Then there's nothing worse than that. You want to pick a pattern that you like. You want to hold it up and you want to see if it fits you, if it fits your personality. It's never about me. Love fashion, love prints, love boldness. Even small, tiny, teeny, tiny floral designs, it's not me. Can't wear them. Yet when I see them on someone and they're adorable and it fits, I'm saying hallelujah because they're great. And that's what you want to do. You want to find what works for you. Remember that when you select a pattern or any type, just as quickly as the styles come in, they go out. So be mindful of the patterns and the prints that you're picking and the different types. And I'm just going to highlight for you the different types. By the way, if you have any, ah, the maxi dress, let me just show this. Emma, you're so right. The, the dresses are back in style and they're very, very comfortable. And the maxi dress is back in style. And you know, as I said earlier, Emma, they come and they go. They're back in style now. And this younger generation, they're finding out that yes, they are comfortable and they're easy to wear. And when we talk about the maxi dress, when we do our one on one and we talk about shapewear, we're going to talk a lot, Emma, about shapewear. <laughs> I have to show this. Uh, Emma, you're going to laugh too. My friend Alfred says, I'm wearing purple shorts. That's so adorable. Thank you, Alfred. You know, I love to laugh, so I can laugh too. <laughs> I can I can laugh with the with the best of them. And Emma says she loves abstracts. So do I, uh, Emma. I love, I love all of the prints. Let me qualify here. And Emma, I want you to understand this too. I love all prints, all patterns, and all designs. Yet, what I find for me is that all of the patterns and all of the designs don't necessarily work best in my favor, make me feel the best. And that's what we want for you. Whatever fashion, whatever style, whatever trend it is that you're adopting into your lifestyle for your signature style and step, you have got to feel good in that fabric, in that style. Otherwise, it's a trend that goes in and out and it's money wasted. So you want to find out what works best for you and that you look good and you feel good in. And then you go from there. We have floral designs. We have geometric designs. We have the dotted patterns, which you spoke to earlier, polka dots. We have the patterns. We have the patterns with many different patterns within them, abstracts. We have lots of stripes that are very popular now and the abstract geometric designs. You can absolutely go wild with your patterns and your designs. What you want to do is first off, get your body shape, then decide on the fashion style that you are. The romantic style, by the way, loves the soft floral prints. Not only do they love them, the majority of them really look adorable in them. And they can be a mature woman as well when you get the right floral pattern print design for you that's in the romantic realm. It can be absolutely precious, but you have to be mindful of that. And then also you find out your body shape, your fabric style, your fashion style. What are you most comfortable in? For me, I know what styles work best for me. I want to know what works best for you. And then we talk about color and into that color realm, we're going to be bringing in all of the colors that are right for you because any of the colors that you get in your patterns, your prints and your florals ought to be able to connect and relay back to the colors that work best for you. There's so many unlimited possibilities here. I'm going to just highlight here once again, going the other way, the different tiles that you, by the way, pants, which is what we're going to talk about next week, pants, slacks, trousers, whatever name you want to give it, never ending. And pants now more than ever before, you'll see tons and tons of them in prints. Every type of print imaginable. So we're going to find the right prints for you. This just gives you like an inkling. There's a lovely dress, Emma, a long maxi dress. What you want to do is find out what you're comfortable in and what works best for you. It's always signature style and stamp which is a word that I was helped. Well, I can't say I coined it because a friend of mine helped me to coin that expression, that word. It's all about you. It's what are you comfortable in? What do you feel best in? And what is going to highlight you best 
and show your brilliance so you can shine. You can't put fashion and style on the back burner because it's part of who you are. It's the beginning of who you are. It's not the end all be all, but it's certainly the beginning. So my friends, what, what we don't want for you or for anyone, I, I'm keeping this very short today for a reason, because I want to keep this Discover Your Signature Style and stamp short to 15, 20 minutes max. I want you to discover what yours is, and we don't want it to be outdated. We don't want it to be frumpy. We don't want it to be um, out something that's outlandish and, and doesn't fit. We want modern, upscale, elevated designs that work best for you. So I want you to give this some thought, think about it, sign up for the booklet. And in turn, by the way, if you are, I want you to also, if you've not done it, sign up for your free complimentary session. If you're not sure about your body shape, if you're not even sure about your colors and you're not even sure, you know what I find? You're not even sure about what style, fashion style grouping you fit into. That's where we have to go. Sometimes we have to go back to move forward. But when you do your complimentary session with me, we get the basic three. We won't have time to do them all. Three major areas that you need to know and start working in that direction. And once you do that, we go from there. So if you've not joined my Facebook group, and as always, need I say, if you're watching the replay, please, let me just hide this. Please type in replay so that I'll know that you were here. And remember that sharing is the best. Share this and tag friends that you know who would be interested and have them come and join us. I'm always delighted to see you here, always grateful to see you here, and always appreciative. Again, redundancy, but that's my middle name to see you here. I thank you for being here. I hope that you got some information that is valuable to you and will continue on. Re remember to join me tomorrow night, seven o'clock for a leading lady. You know, we all have a book in us, so we're told, right? And from my limited experience, I found this to be true. So if you have been thinking about writing a book or you know of someone who might be or has written a book, then join us because this lady is going to share some phenomenal and fantastic tips about how we do and get started with writing our book, which is what we're all in the process of, whether we know it or not. So great to see you here tonight, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Thanks again for coming by. Always enjoy your company. See you soon, like tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, same station. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>